Rafa at Days of the Dead. How are you doing? Loving and having a great time. Yeah. I think this is your first ever convention? It is my first ever convention. Yeah. Now, why did you uh, wait so long? Well, you know, it's so important um, to know what the fans, now that I'm, I'm also executive producing some things, and it's so important to know what the fans want, what the fans mm-hmm. like. And, you know, not good. I was, I was busy. Yeah. And I, didn't, I wasn't able to, to cut loose and come here. And I said, I have to come. Yeah. And I just love it. Yeah. Now, are you, um, what, is it, what role are you uh, remembered for the most by the fans? Actually, Galaxy of Terror yeah. in the horror world. Galaxy of Terror. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we had so much fun. Well, that was just, that was also Robert England. Mm-hmm. I know, Sid, it's an amazing cast. Sid Hayes, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is this the first time you've seen Sid since then? Or? No, no, no. Sid, Sid and I actually were the same agent for a while. And we were even thinking about doing something together. We'll, we'll see about that. Yeah. yeah. But Sid's just doing great. He's looking great. Uh, yeah. I bet a lot of people have been asking about a particular scene in Galaxy of Terror. Oh, what scene would that be? Mm, a big worm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, you know, it's kind of interesting if you get into, like, the psychological mm-hmm. things. This is... In the 80s, there weren't many women that played like... I was a tech chief. Mm -hmm. I was not a dumb blonde. So it's kind of interesting. Her biggest fear was her sexuality Mm -hmm. and worms. So I I think the whole thing... I think Roger Corman was just... He tricked me. You know, he tricked me on that. Well, what happened was I was supposed to... The first day I went on the set, Mm -hmm. I didn't realize... I I looked at the script, there was nudity. And there was no nudity in my contract. Mm-hmm. So I called my agent. I said, Mike, there's nudity. He says, go in your dressing room. I'm shutting the set down. Calls Roger. Roger goes, okay, there won't be any nudity. I'll get her a body double. Yeah. Okay. Then when we got into the filming of it, we were so, you know, it, it was such a team that at 4 o'clock in the morning, uh, when I had had some brandy, right. <laughs> I didn't even know they were it's shooting that. a good that. thing to do. I did not know they were shooting, they were shooting <laughs> under the maggot. Right. I had no idea they were shooting like that. Mm-hmm. They were shooting under the maggot. Yeah. But, this is very slimy. Uh, they warmed the slime for us. Oh, they did? Morning. Yeah. They warmed the slime. You know what the slime is made out of? Uh, raspberry jello, I think. Oh, so it was even tasty. It was tasty. Yeah. And all the special effects people went on to do great things. So we, we, we had an incredible group. Yeah. You know, Alec Gillis, who does, you know, Spider-Man now, who does mm-hmm. a lot of special effects. What was Roger Corman like himself? I, he's my idol. Yeah. Okay, Roger, now that I'm starting to produce some things, this gentleman is has brought forth more talent. Mm-hmm. And he's cheap. He's so cheap. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he really gets every dollar on the screen. Is that is that, that a is that a main thing you're worried about, well, you're concerned about now in producing films? No, you want to get every dollar on the screen. Right. And he had great distribution deals. This man is a genius. Mm-hmm. He started out in the '60s with Hammer Films. Started Coppola. Yeah. You probably know. Oh yeah. I mean, see, yeah. So many names. Yeah. So, uh, except when we were up on the mountain. Right. Okay, we're Galaxy of Terror. Mm-hmm. There was a back way to come up the mountain, and I had this huge backpack on. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't know Roger had come up behind me. I turned around, and he almost went flying down two stories. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Someone's here bringing some money. Oh, look! Oh, I love it when men give me money. <laughs> Thanks. Where's mine? I don't Maybe. mind it either. But, uh, Thanks, baby. Yeah. No, but he almost, I turned around, Where's and mine? he had to grab Roger. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's the head of the whole thing, and I went, Roger, I'm sorry. Because he would be around. There was actually, did you know about the scene where um, there were actually McDonald's cartons on the wall? I've heard, yeah, I've seen that online. So. Well, he actually used that set to shoot a commercial during okay. the time we were shooting. Yeah. And Aaron was supposed to get a Winnebago. Mm-hmm. Okay. Instead, we had this big, like, building. Okay. Mm-hmm. That was like a, and so she, she actually, we had a little wine after we wrapped one night. Mm-hmm. And she put wine a bago with right. a paint gun across it. Yeah. Because that was her wine a bago. Mm-hmm. Are you familiar with the website's galaxyofterror.com? And it's kind of devoted to taboo sexual uh, pictures, and it's all stemmed from this. You're kidding. Nope. Well, it, I frequent I'm, it quite often. No, I don't. <laughs> well, I'm flattered. Yeah. I, you, should, you should check it out. I will check it out. Yeah. I, I know galaxyofterror.com, but I haven't looked at it uh, recently. Mm, it might be .net, but put in Galaxy okay. of Terror and you'll find out which one it is. For <laughs> okay, sure. Okay. Yeah. But I think I think Roger came you know, with his sexuality, mm-hmm. and it is one of the most talked about scenes. Yeah. Now, how much of that did they have to edit out for the, uh, for the release? 
No, no, no. Actually, yeah. not that much. <laughs> I'm not telling. You. Yeah. I'm not telling. It's, it's in my private film collection. Oh, okay. You think we'll ever see it on Blu-ray? Maybe yes, maybe no. Yeah. Like you know the extended commentary. edition? Mm-hmm. Extended edition? Yeah. Over, you know, it, it will be more than PG-13. Right, right. Yeah, it'll be like XX. Yeah. But we have fun. Mm-hmm. We should just, just having fun. So, what are your current projects right now? Okay, well, I, as I said, just the change-up just came out in August, mm-hmm. which is really fun because Galaxy of Terra, actually, this is with Ryan Reynolds and Jason Bateman, which is kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, because what they were looking for was a comedy veteran of the 80s. Right. And I was doing all this comedy. I did, I did Cheech and Chum's Nice Dreams. Mm-hmm. You believe in that with Tommy and Cheech. Three's companies, all those things, right? Yeah. Uh, so they were looking for a comedy veteran that had also been a screen queen. So it was a perfect combination. It was just hysterical. And I play a, uh, it's a Lorno queen. Mm-hmm. Another two at Lorno is. That has just stayed too long and I blow Ryan Reynolds' mind. Ah, it's a lucky man. <laughs> Well, I think he actually thought I was like a Lorno queen because he was a little afraid of me on the yeah. set. I went because Ryan's wonderful. He's very, you know, yeah. he's very proprietous. He's very straight. Mm-hmm. But if you look at the look on his face, it's a great movie. Yeah, filmed here in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You've got to get on some of these future uh, screen queens panels. <laughs> well, Did you know about this one this weekend? No. There's a, I, I uh, hosted it. Well, good for you. Yeah, it's screen. I don't know why you weren't there. Well, I didn't. I, you didn't invite me. I, I wasn't in charge of who was there. I was yeah, I'm like, teasing. It's all good. It's all right. When it's yeah. right. And now that I'm, I, we're doing something called Twisted Tales of Terror. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is our first twisted pick. And it's called, can you zoom in on this? You see my little icon there with my head twisted on backwards? It's, and I'll show it to you. Okay. You see it now? Yeah. <laughs> twisted pick. Now that's twisted? Yeah. Okay. Ah. This is my first twisted pick. Because we're going to be doing... Twisted Tales of Terror, which is going to be like an anthology series. Mm-hmm. Only like three to four minutes. Yeah. This is a 20-minute short film by John Stout. Mm-hmm. Uh, original uh, story by Samantha Henderson. This will blow your mind. It's been sweeping the film festival. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Look at all the awards. Mm-hmm. Well, sweeping the sweet. yeah. It's about a little girl who's able to put souls in bottles. And if she buries that bottle, very bad things happen. Be the one Isn't that great? So that's our first is. twisted pick. Yeah. And, and if you're not, if you don't see her at a convention, you can check out bottlesfilm.com. Exactly. Yeah. You're so right. <laughs> but I'm going to be making it out more and more because you you want to know what what the fans want. Yeah. yeah. You got to so get in line for it. Are you surprised? You know, people still talk about uh, Galaxy Terror. Or? I'm delighted. Yeah. You know, it, and especially since they just reissued it. Mm-hmm. You know, last year the 30th Blu-ray edition. Right. Oh, that's right. I, yeah, so it's a whole whole resurgence and it sits in it. And then, as I said, I love the change up. And I just got asked to do a movie called D, which is about a family with mm, peculiar snacking habits. Ah. They eat people. That sounds that sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah. okay. So I'm going to be doing A House of Lies with Don Cheadle TV. Uh-huh. And then I'll go eat people. Exactly. And D. A typical weekend. Love it. Right. We get to play like big kids. Yeah, exactly. I love it. We want to thank you for talking to me. Oh, thank you. You're yeah. awesome. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And don't forget to check out withoutyourhead.com. Woo! Your heart laid dead inside.